Well, it's a fight between a small beach community and one of Jacksonville's biggest corporations. And tonight, both sides will get a chance really to sway neighbors in a fight over a proposal to put a new gas station in Atlantic Beach. Gay Petroleum would like to put seven pumps and a convenience store in a small space right next to Beach Diner on Atlantic Boulevard. Channel 4's Ashley Harding joining us now live from Atlantic Beach. I've seen these signs, people out there feeling very strongly on both sides. Ashley. They sure do, Jen. And this is the spot where they're talking about adding, building rather, that gate gas station. You can see it's a nice big space, but it's also right next to Atlantic Boulevard. There's already a lot of traffic that comes through here. They say this would only add more traffic. That's just one of the reasons why they say this isn't a good idea. And a lot of those people are going to be at that meeting tonight. Your worst neighbor. When we first met Susan Perry last month, no gate. She had a lot to say. No gate. Fast forward to Monday. We don't want this to be built. Not much has changed. With signs in hand, she and Suzanne Barker of Atlantic Beach Cares aren't afraid to show they're not here to mince words. What's what's the point? Why anybody would think that this was a place for a gas station is beyond my comprehension. It simply is not a good idea. We have over 2,000 people who have signed a petition against this. Tonight, representatives from Gate are meeting with community members here at Adele Grage Cultural Center in Atlantic Beach. This will be a chance for everyone to talk facts, figures, and concerns. For Perry and Barker, those concerns range from property values. The real estate appraiser said that uh, he estimated that property values would uh, go down about 20% if that gas station came in because who wants to live across the street from a gas station? To everything in between. This is the road where people are especially concerned about if this gate gas station were to be built. Some say not only would it bring extra traffic to the area, some say it might even invite crime. Suzanne Barker says as time goes on, more signs go up and more people are jumping in on the fight. Barker looks forward to what will come tonight. It, it is going to solidify the fight against this uh, mega station, and it's wonderful that Gate has given us the, the venue. And I also reached out to Gate for comment ahead of tonight's meeting. I did not hear back from them, but in the past, they have commented about this. Look at this statement from Gate right here. They say, quote, Gate strives to be a good neighbor in each community it serves in Atlantic Beach through each step of the process before purchasing the property during the design of the proposed store and station. While plans were pending and currently, Gate has continuously communicated in public meetings about its intentions. Now, that meeting begins tonight, tonight at 5.30. It's expected to last about two hours. Live in Atlantic Beach, I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. You know, it's interesting. You talk to the residents there. They say, hey, we took on Walmart. Right. We're not afraid Across to take on street, Gate. It'll exactly. be interesting to see where it goes from here.